Hello everyone, Wildstream1 here and welcome to another video. Today's video we're talking about Open Media Vault by here. So uh, we are going to basically be adding a new disk to the storage pool. I have just added a 4 terabyte disk to this server. This server I've had running for a little while. The uh, reason why it's 4 terabyte is I've added an 8 terabyte to my other NAS and I had a spare 4 terabyte so I've added it to this. So this on its own doesn't really work within open media vault um so if i go to storage and disks you'll see i've added a new one this is this one here sde uh a b and c if i go to multiple drives are there so we got a b and c so that's creating that pool there but that is not i'm not able to add another drive to this pool if you know how to, let me know down below, but I've been trying for the last two days and it's been doing my head in and yeah, I've been unable to. Uh, but I have now found a new way and you might be able to see it right by here, Murf, uh, Merge Earths, Merge Earths, something like that. There is a wiki for it, I will uh, leave a link to this wiki uh, down below, but as you can see there, it needs OMV Extras. I'm not going to go through installing OMV Extras on this. If you want me to install OMV Extras, uh, let me know. I've already got it pre-installed. I don't know if I can uninstall and reinstall it for a sake of a video, but it's so simple. Um, in fact, I think it's just a matter of just clicking in plugins and just typing in um, Extras. No, um, maybe not. So. Let, let me know I will uh, I might even create a new system purely for that but for the sake of this one we are going to uh, be installing uh, merge earth so we do need to be in the plugin section and type in merge and then it's earths probably pronouncing that wrong there we go you can see it's pre-installed all you do is you click on it and then this install arrow will be there click on that a pop-up box will come up and it will install uh, again you will need omv extras for this um if you want me to do a video on that i will try just let me know down below and i'll do a video on that um so what's the next stage then well you already seen it we go back to the storage section we got merge earths here so this is a whole new section that that plugin adds but we don't need to go here first. So we got disks. We know, if we go back to disk, I just know that this one is my one. Double check yourself which one is your new disk. I just know that one is it because it's the only four terabyte or nearest four terabyte here. That is um, 3.64. That's basically what a four terabyte is uh, according to uh, an R system sort of thing. And I know it's that because the other four terabytes are included in this one here. So first thing you need to do is go to is go to file system. Sorry about that. And then we need to mount that disk. So you got your create new mount. You can click on this XFAT IO SU X uh, X4, and then you select the disk here. But for some reason, it's probably because I've already created it. Um, that uh, won't let me do it. All you do is you click your new disk and you hit save. Um, but for me, I've already created one, so I need to hit this mount an existing one. It says I've already created one, but hey ho. But yeah, see you see the SDE and then one. So that is going to be the new one, SDE one. Click on that, hit save, and there you go, SDE one. And then at the top then, pending configuration changes, we just got to hit that tick to apply it. Yes, we want to apply it. And there we go. So we've got MDO, which is the multiple disk uh, by there. So it's uh, multiple disk zero. Uh, that's at the top. We've got the SSD, which I kind of use as a boot one. Uh, we've got the SDE there, which is a new one there at basically three, four terabyte, 3.58. All we do now is we go over to the mergers, click on that. At the top left here, we got create. Click on create. Now we name it. So everything I'm call me sad. Everything in my uh, network is all Doctor Who based. 
Um, so let's call this one New Earth, which is one of the planets that he uh, visited. But anyway, so there's the name of this uh, thing. You, we won't really be seeing that. But then if we click the next box down, so the next box down is File Systems. And we got to select which ones we want. So we want to merge that multiple disk drive, device uh, drive there, which is this MDO, with the new one, which, as we know, is the SDE1. So we just select them. You can select them all if you want to, if you really want to be using them all together. But uh, one of them's an external drive, the other one's an internal SSD um, that I just sort of like use to install stuff onto. But you can install it, you can add them all if you really want to. I'm just doing the two. So click the two. Uh, down below, then we've got the optional uh, uh, all file systems will be converted. So we can hit the Gallifrey which is the name of this. So if I go over to my window here, you see I've got Gallifrey. This is the size of it at the moment, 14.4. If I hit refresh, you see there the other one's Scarrow. So yeah, so 14.4. So we can merge it with that. I'm not entirely sure what that does. At the moment, I'm just doing existing path, most uh, free space. I just leave all this as default, hit save, and there it is a, uh, and then we just hit apply at the top. So we hit apply. So that has now applied. But if we go back here, 14.4 terabytes, and hit refresh, nothing has actually changed. That's because we now need to go back to the shared folder section, click on that, and then on the device name, it's still only pointing to that singular device. So if I go back to, sorry, if I go back to uh, file system, you'll see at the bottom, we have the new one, New Earth, right by there, Merge Earths, New Earths, which is 10.983, and the other one's 10.4, which is, if we go back to share folders, what this one is, MDO. So we need to go into here, because this is my shared folder, need to hit edit, and we need to point this to the new one. So at the top here, you've got file system. We need to point it to that new one we just created, which is new if at the bottom. Click on new if, or whatever you've named it, hit save. Now you see, we've got to obviously apply it, everything we've got to apply, hit okay. You'll see there that now, Galfrey is pointing to new if. If I go back to the file system, hit refresh, just gone offline for now. There we go. 18 terabyte instead of 14.4. This it's like that. If I just for quickly, if I go back here and hit uh, New Earth, and you can hit Rebalance Pool. What this does is it balances your data over all of the drives. So hit that. It'll tell you uh, what it all is. Just it just hit Start. Then it all do itself. Doesn't take too long. It just balances your data between all the drives. And it's that simple. Um, as you can see there, this is going to take me a little while. Uh, but that is how you do it. Uh, you've just seen now on this bit, it might be offline. Yeah, it's offline at the moment. It increased that storage pool. So that's how you increase your storage pool on um, Open Media Vault. If this video is helpful, give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below of anything else you want to see. I will see if I can uh, have a look into it all and uh, we'll go from there. So thank you all for watching and once, uh, sorry, before I go, just want to say uh, thank you all to my uh, channel supports. Their names will be at the top right hand side of the screen. But for now, ciao for now everyone.